hello i'm happy that you're here um before we get into it i just wanted to say thank you so much for 100 subscribers that feels huge and i've said it before i'll say it again you know i had no expectations of anybody watching any of these videos besides my pals so it's cool people are watching it like warms my heart when people are like i don't know when anybody says anything it's really nice um so yeah i don't know what i'm doing i'm just doing it i'm here and i'm happy you're here too i made you, you know i love to make maps i made this map pedestrian signs of europe um and um there are not every single country is included like i didn't include countries that i felt like didn't really have a super notable sign um and i didn't include countries where the sign wasn't super consistent throughout the country so Keep that in mind, of course, that is something to note. And then also, of course, this I feel like isn't, I feel like where this is really helpful is in like those Nordic countries in the Baltic region. It's helpful in a few small ways, but um, I think it's worth, I think it's worth knowing for sure. So of course, let me know if anything in this is like wrong or if I need to fix anything, change anything, I would love to hear that. So this, of course, has to be Czechia just because there is a giant white border around the edge with like a blue border around that. So oh, you can guess in Czechia if you see that sign. Here we have the most iconic sign in my opinion. This is Poland with no lines at all. Also, this yield sign I feel like is pretty iconic for Poland too. Orange with the teeny tiny little um, red border. And I think knowing this is super helpful, right? Because Poland and Hungary, maybe sometimes those two places look the same. Here we have to be in Finland. Basically, process of elimination, we have five lines on the um, crosswalk. And in Sweden and Norway, you're only going to see four lines. I feel like that was one of the first things I learned that was super helpful that had to do with any of these crosswalk signs. So... Here we have to be in Greece. Only a few countries have this like dashed line. Belgium, Greece, and Austria. And in Belgium, the guy is going to be like <laughs> kind of like chunky. I hope we come across it so I can show you, but he's more chunky. Um, and then in Austria, of course, the, the dashes don't go all the way to the edge. So this, you know, you're going to be in Greece. Surely there will be things that let you know you're in Greece before the crosswalk sign, but it's just something to um, consider. Again, we're here in Poland. Let's run through it maybe just like a couple more times and see and see what else we can come up with. Here is my favorite one. I don't know, I don't know why. Just because he looks like kind of sad maybe or something, but this is Denmark. Denmark has a lot of my favorite stuff. Um yeah, and the crosswalk goes all the way to the edge of the white triangle and he's kind of like a sad stick figure guy. So if you see that, you can know you're in Denmark. I also noticed that in Denmark, a lot of the crosswalk signs were like way up above on sort of the, um, like the light, I can't even think what that's called, <laughs> like the traffic light thing. Yeah, so those were really up high. Here, of course, we're in Austria with the dashes that don't go all the way to the edge. And then, of course, you're going to also see this like Austrian flag sticker all over the place. So there's like a few different things that can help you give it away, but I think that that can be helpful to recognize. Here we must be in like Lithuania or in Ukraine. Um, just be careful because Russia, of course, also uses this sign and it's just the three lines on the crosswalk and then he has sort of like an alien shape head for whatever reason. Um, <laughs> for whatever reason they made that choice. I don't remember which one this is. So, okay, it was Lithuania. Here we have to be in Estonia. We have sort of like a casual looking guy and <laughs> three lines. So if you're in, if you're like, oh, I know this is Baltic and I see this crosswalk sign with only three lines, it has to be Estonia. So um, I think that's actually, I think that's actually pretty useful. Here, process of elimination. This has to be uh, Sweden, right? He's kind of like not the stick figure type. And then there's just the four lines. Um, in Norway, the guy looks a little bit different. Hopefully we can come across it. I included just a couple yield signs that I felt like were really notable. 
This happens to be Romania. Tell me, please let me know, but I'm pretty sure this is the only place where the yield sign looks like this, like a massively thick red border with a tiny little white um, edge. So I figured why not put that in there? Who knows if that would ever actually be helpful, but um, it might be. You never know. Skipping over ones we've done, this I believe has to be Lithuania just because I remember Alien Head and I just remember the location. There's not that many in this um, map. Of course, Poland. Here we are again. Let's get some ones we haven't seen. So this is Romania. I think Romania uses like several throughout. Like, I don't know if Romania is super consistent with it, but this is the one I found the most. It has no border at all, and it's also, like, really flat looking, if that makes sense. And also, in this round, you see the Romanian flag in the background, so, you know, that's, like, an extra little clue. Let's run through it, like, two... Why not? Let's go through it a few more times. So here we are. This is actually really interesting, and I don't know if I remember this. This is like Sweden or Norway. I think it might be Sweden that uses sometimes a person with a dress. So we can check it out. Yep, and it is in Sweden. So if you see that, you can you can probably go for oh my gosh, um, Sweden in that in that way. Horrible location. <laughs> Why did I settle for that? I don't know, but you can tell it's Estonia. Three lines, casual guy. Um, Austria again, okay, sort of a repeat. Here, of course, this is Norway. This is what I was talking about. Four lines, and the guy is in like a full, like, he looks like <laughs> he's in like a full detective outfit or something. He's having a whole situation and he's hunching over. So if you see a guy that's hunching over, there you have it. All right, let's run through this again. Why not? Of course, this iconic Switzerland sign with the giant, um, it's like a giant blue box at the bottom and tons of lines. No other country looks like that. I don't know why they made that choice. If someone knows, I would love to know. I'm very curious. This with the alien head has to be Ukraine or Lithuania. I honestly forget, but I think this sign here and the language will kind of speak to Lithuania more than Ukraine. Again, my favorite little sad guy in Denmark. Um, okay, and then here we are in Belgium. Now, this is kind of what I was talking about. The lines go all the way to the edge, and he's like got a chunky situation. So if you can recognize that, you'll be fine. I will also say making this map made me realize like how prevalent these signs are like i don't think i've ever naturally come upon like that type of sign in belgium and it had a really hard time even like finding it so just so you know you pr i don't know if you'll ever see that in in when you're just like playing geoguessr okay what is this this is slovakia lines not going all the way to the edge one more time why not this guy, super hunching over, has to be Norway. Continuing on, we know that this is Finland based on him being sort of having five lines and sort of like a human type look. I think also there might be other signs in Finland, but they're all going to have five lines. And then this one is pretty iconic too. This is Spain with the million lines. That's like instantly super recognizable and super unique to Spain. Um, of course, Denmark again. We can just be somewhere randomly. Um, and then this is Romania. No outline. Super flat looking. Um, yeah, I don't know how unique that is to Romania, but it's definitely the one that is there the most. So keep that in mind. Here, of course, I don't remember. This might be Ukraine. Yep, alien head um switzerland again i guess i'm just trying to think like which ones haven't really come up in this video um i think they might have all come up so far so of course this is slovakia um yes let's see what else romania of course yeah i think that's it i think we actually can go ahead and be done i 
think everything. There's Czechia with the really big white border. Let's see. I think that's it. I, I, I'm trying to think if there's any other signs I included that didn't really get, um, maybe Portugal. Give me one second. Okay, hello. Um, so I think Portugal, we didn't really come across naturally. So might as well go ahead and show you that Portugal, here you have it. It's very standard looking, but the guy has like a little white belt happening. And I think that's not super unique to Portugal. Like you might see that in Germany, if I'm remembering correctly, but there should be other stuff that lets you know. Like, I don't think you're ever going to be in like a 50-50 toss up between Portugal and Germany, but what do I know? Um, and then also we didn't really check out Latvia. Latvia is also another one that's just super, super standard. And there's nothing really that stands out to me about it. But um, if you are, it's, it's helpful like process of elimination. If you see this very standard one, you can know that you're in Latvia. So yeah, I think that's going to be it for the video. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, this is just a quick, short little video. Just wanted to pop in and say, I made this map. Um, it's been helpful to me to try to remember some of those things. Other people's videos on this have been super helpful and me remembering some of this stuff. So I just kind of wanted to make my own. I'll put the link to this map in the description and feel free to play it and feel free to like let me know what you think, what's missing, what's wrong, what's helpful, like any of that is super fun to hear about. So um, that's it.